I've been meaning to make this sort of video for a while now, but I've just had to work out how to package it up and get it ready for YouTube. How do you take better landscape images? What's going to improve your landscape images beyond just tips and tricks? Don't get me wrong, tips and tricks are really good. In fact, I'll probably do a tips video on composition very soon. But before I do that, I just wanted to take a step back and describe to you what I think is the key ingredient that a great landscape image has. Before we get into it, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, a domain or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. So what makes a great landscape image? If you were to ask me when I just started out in landscape photography, I might have said something like, it needs to be sharp, it needs to have really nice light, it needs to be high in resolution, lots of detail. But now, while I can still accept that a good image might have some of these elements, I think there's a lot more to creating a great image. Imagine for a moment that you've taken a fantastic, amazing landscape image. It's up in a gallery. There's people that are looking at it. You don't know who they are and they don't know who you are, but you can hear what they're saying about your image. What sorts of things would you want them to say when they're looking at your image? Imagine they said something like, I could stand here and look at this image all day. A statement like that kind of reflects that the image is interesting or it's providing some value that's worth the person who's looking at the image to continue looking at it. How about this image makes me feel relaxed or energized or hopeful or sad. This means that you've managed to create or evoke some sort of emotion in the viewer. I wish I could sit right where this was taken and enjoy this view. A statement like this kind of indicates that you've managed to build a connection, not necessarily with the viewer, but between the viewer and the landscape that you're trying to capture, which is part, I think, of what we're trying to do as landscape photographers. Where was this taken? I want to visit this place. A statement like this reflects how your image has perhaps inspired someone else. For your image to have this sort of impact on the people that view it, it needs to have a story. It's through stories that we can engage with our audience. It's through stories that we can connect with our viewer. Stories can evoke emotion and they can even potentially inspire others into action. I'm sure you've heard this before, that your landscape image should tell a story. But what does a story look like in a landscape image? I think it's easier to identify what a story is in an image that has people in it, like street photography or wedding photography. The story is about the people, what they're going through and how they might be feeling. But for me, a landscape image doesn't have people in it. I think the moment you add a person to a landscape scene, it stops becoming landscape photography and it moves into more travel photography. And the story is about how the people are interacting within that scene. You may agree or disagree with this, but regardless, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So in a landscape image that doesn't have any people in it, the story is more about the landscape itself. The story is about the interactions of the elements that make up that landscape, like water falling down the rocks of a waterfall and hitting the water below, creating a pattern, or how the waves at a beach crash into the rocks, or how light might be hitting the tops of the trees or reflecting color off the clouds. It might be the patterns that are created in the sand from an outgoing tide, or even how the weather over time has shaped the landscape. By capturing the story of the landscape, we as photographers start to build an emotion, start to create a connection between the audience and the landscape. If capturing a landscape image is about telling the story of the landscape, then does capturing a better landscape image 
just require us to find a better story or a better landscape to capture? Well, unfortunately, no, if only it was that easy. There are plenty of average images that have been captured at stunning locations and plenty of amazing images that have been captured at locations that on the surface didn't really look as if they offered too much photographically. So what's the secret? A reminder that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for five years now and what I really enjoy about the platform is how they take the hassle out of building, maintaining and hosting a website. It's so quick and easy to use. As a photographer, you can pretty much have your website up and running and displaying your portfolio of images in less than an hour. Pick a template, drag and drop your images onto the page and Squarespace handle how they best look on mobile and desktop. Recently, I've been exploring the newsletter feature that Squarespace have where I can build a newsletter quickly with a variety of different styles to choose from. When I'm ready, I can easily send it off to anyone who has signed up to my mailing list. You can start your free trial at squarespace.com. And if you do check them out and you wanna go ahead with a website, make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Ma to get 10% off your first purchase. If you think about other art forms that tell a story, there's more to it than just a good story. An author of an engrossing crime novel will cleverly leave hints along the way for the reader to get the reader to think about who may have carried out the crime. And this just makes the story so much better. Or a director of a drama film will include scenes that tell the backstories of some of the characters so they can be more relatable to the audience just before all of the drama unfolds. And it means that the drama itself has more of an impact on the audience. There's ways in which a story can be told that actually help enhance the story. There's ways in which a structure within the story can be used to help guide the audience through the narrative and help enhance the elements, the characters, the interaction between the characters, and ultimately improve the final story. All of this applies to stories that are told through images of the landscape. As landscape photographers, we are the authors of the stories that we are telling. And it's our task to create a structure within the image that helps guide the viewer through the story we're telling. In photography, that structure that helps tell a better story is composition. A well-considered composition will not only guide the viewer through the image, but will also help them make sense of what they're looking at and enhance the story we're telling. And in turn, increasing the impact on the viewer. I'll probably go into a little bit more detail in another video, but just as a bit of an example, I just wanna take a look at this image here of Horseshoe Falls and how I've used the composition to help tell the story of the scene. Uh, as you can see, there's rocks throughout the entire scene here that, um, if not carefully composed, can look quite messy. So I found a position where I was able to create not only some leading lines in the foreground, but also some pathways where the water is coming through those rocks that helps the viewer uh, through the image up to where the waterfalls are in the background there. This position also allows me to frame the two waterfalls with the two ferns on either side. Throughout the scene, there are all these other smaller stories as well that I've managed to compose, like the small waterfall in the foreground here, as well as the smaller ferns that are clinging or growing off the sides of the rock as the water is rushing past. Plus I've got light that is coming off the rocks and bringing up the textures in the moss on those rocks. Uh, and also I've got the light that is reflecting off the, uh, the rock wall in between the two waterfalls in the background there as well. And of course, all of these stories help add to the overall narrative 
and the main story, which of course are the two waterfalls here at Horseshoe Falls. The better the composition, the better the story will be told. Improve your storytelling and you'll improve your landscape images. So next time you're out capturing a landscape image, not only think about the story, but also think about how your composition can improve your storytelling. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give the video a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any thoughts on this approach to composition and storytelling, then I'd love to hear them in the comments below. But until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching.